hello i am back with another deck review this one is not the most common deck right now but i'm doing it because i think it's a really enjoyable deck to play um you've seen it in a few videos that i have whether it's from me playing it or from me playing against it and i probably comment in those videos that it's a deck that i just like and, and wish could be a little more popular i'm hoping it gets a little bit more support soon because it was very popular a couple of years ago and has faded off because it just hasn't gotten a lot of help um, but all that said, this is the Blue Eyes White Dragon deck. So to start off, the strengths of the deck are, first off, just power. Um, Blue Eyes has always been a very strong monster. We were talking 3,000 attack points. There's other, you know, different monsters within the archetype that you can bring out with a similar attack power. And building on the next strength of being the ability to summon, and, and summon a lot of them, sometimes very quickly, when you combine that with power, you can win quickly, and, and it can be just an onslaught. Um, so the strengths are, are very clearly there, but this is also not a deck that, like, if you've never gotten to King of Games that I would recommend trying to get there with. There are much, much better options for it because of the weaknesses. And the weakness, the first one is that there's not a ton of protection. It kind of makes up for the lack of protection with the ability to summon and, and bring monsters back onto the field. However, you know, if your opponent can generally target them with card effects, can generally... Um, just get them off the field very easily in, in ways that are outside of just attacking. So that is the biggest thing holding it back. And then on top of that, you also have a bit of inconsistency with what you can get out. Let's say just your first draw. Sometimes you can get out a bunch of blue eyes. Sometimes you can get out um, one of the white stones and, you know, wait till next turn to get something out there. Uh, so with that, a little bit of speed um, at times can, yeah, just make it a little bit slower too. So with the ability to summon i'll just walk through like really quickly because we have the alternative dragon so if you have another blue eyes in your hand you can bring it out you have the maiden where if it gets targeted with an attack or uh, an effect then you can bring out a card you choose with the blue eyes the white stones where they go to the graveyard you can summon there um dragon spirit's one of the ones you're going to target um the sage you can discard and bring a tuner to your hand or i'm sorry discard and target one effect monster on the field and bring out uh, a blue eyes so if you use the Sage to target the Maiden, then, you know, you can get two out immediately. Obviously, if you're Blue Eyes, but then all of those Blue Eyes are in the graveyard, you can Monster Reborn, bring one back. Cards of Consonance, you can discard an Egg, draw two. So you get to bring a Blue Eyes out at the end of the turn, and then you get to draw. So moving through the deck very quickly, too. Uh, Melody, you discard one card, any card, and draw two Blue Eyes. Um, Ancient Rule, bring out a Blue Eyes from your hand. Karma Cut. This is like pro one of the biggest forms of protection, where you can discard one card and then target one face-up monster your opponent has and banish it. Now I'm going to highlight the discard one card, because you can obviously discard a white stone. You can do it on your opponent's turn. At the end of their turn, you can bring out, you guessed it, a blue eyes. So the cards have a ton of synergy. They're just not quite consistent and not quite um, having enough protection to make it a completely viable deck right now, but I do love it. Now, the extra deck is very flexible, and we have the, the blue Eye Spirit Dragon, a little bit of a, 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 um, a Necro Valley effect of you can basically stop targets that are, or cards that are targeting Graveyard Monsters, so pretty relevant in the meta today. Um, and then the other one that's really core here is the Azure Eyes, where uh, turn it's brought out, you can stop effects that are targeting Blue Eyes, and then each standby phase you can target one Blue Eyes from the Graveyard and bring it back. So... If you can get into a flow with it, fantastic. But usually with this deck, like when you really get into flow, it, it's not going to last a whole lot longer. Now, with the the uh, attack power, we also have the ultimate dragon's um, skill, which is obviously what you want to be using. The the deck I played it with the obelisk, the tormentor video, and obviously I used a different effect that would let me to bring out obelisk. But you automatically get three blue eyes fusion monsters with this and a polymerization, so that's why you don't see it in the deck. Some people will play with one, so you can get it anyway, but this ability is available from turn three on, so really, really awesome. Um, and just a lot, a lot of flexibility there, and, and it's very common, you know, after turn three, you can get two blue eyes to your hand one way or another, so can bring out really, really powerful monsters that way. So a couple things, let me swap back there. Um, you'll notice on the right side of the screen, I added a little bit to kind of build further on the deck reviews. So the overall deck strength, I would say it's about a three and a half. You do see like some players online claiming they're getting to King of Games with the deck, and I could see it, but 
you're going to go in th against a lot stronger decks right now, and y you're fighting an uphill battle, but, you know, if you want to try it, you want to challenge yourself, definitely one that you could do it with. Consistency being a 3 out of 5, and, and for the reasons I mentioned, where there are turns you're going to get a ton out, there's a lot of turns where you're probably going to get close to nothing out, or, or you could totally brick, um, but just, you know, for a deck that you're going to get to give games with, you want to trust what you can get 70, 80, 90% of the time, and this unfortunately isn't really that right now. The ease of playing is about a 4 out of 5, I think. Um, very, very simple, I think, for the most part. You do have, like, sometimes you're going to have choices, like, should I do this or that? But I think the plays are going to be fairly obvious in most situations. So, you know, keep in mind your intent is to either get out Blue Eyes, Fusion Summon, or, or um, target something in the extra deck to bring out, usually Synchro Summoning. And difficulty to obtain, I'm putting this at a 2.5 out of 5, so pretty easy to obtain. I'm not really thinking about the kind of flexibility monsters we have in the extra decks. We have the Raven, the Coco Dragon, so it is going to be limited one soon, so you'd have to swap that out for something else. Talking about the Galaxy Eyes Dragons, talking about the Thunder End Dragon, these are a little bit more difficult to obtain, but I, I really don't think they're necessary. Like, you're going to have some situations where you can bring them out, but they're not your, your main kind of source of, of power here. So everything else is going to be pretty easy to obtain. You're going to get, I believe, Lifetime Missions, a lot of these monsters are coming from the same box, so the blue, uh, the maiden, the sage are coming from the same box. There, you have the Kaiba box there, where you can get the white stones, you can get the blue eyes dragons. Everyone's gifted a monster reborn. That uh, cards of consonance is in that same mini box there. Um, Ancient rules, you can get a hundred different ways. Karma cut a little more difficult to obtain, and then the melody. Um, you have to level up Kaiba, so either the Dark Side of Dimension or just the regular um, Dual World. I'm sorry, um, Dungeon, yeah, I'm sorry. The, yeah, the Dual World, um, you'll get it there. So overall, you're not spanning across a, a bunch of different card boxes to get to these. So with that, like, if you're very new and you're just looking to get up towards, like, Legend and Ranked, this would be a really good um, deck to work with, because, again, you don't really have to go for... A lot of the XD's monsters in the extra deck and the Raven this Coco Dragon. Um, you know, they're they're nice to have, but they're not core. So uh, difficulty to obtain is pretty low. And then fun to play. I have this as a four out a four and a half out of five. Part of that is a little bit of a nostalgia, I'll just be completely honest. But I do think it's cool to just get a ton of blue eyes out and very quickly, you know, you can use the skill, you can get a polymerization, you can get a blue eyes ultimate dragon out, you can get the Neo Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon, you can do so many different things, and it is one of those decks when you start flowing, um, you can win very, very quickly and get off just, just nasty attacks. And on top of that, I, I do like sometimes these rogue-type decks of you know that you're playing a deck that's probably a little worse than the most common decks, and when you get a win, it feels a bit better. Um, I believe, actually, when I recorded the Obelisk video, that was the first duel I tried to get it with. I played it against a, a deck using Resonators, which was just after the recent box came out and the deck was revamped. Um, I didn't have a ton of trouble. He got two very strong uh, Synchro Monsters out first turn. I believe it was first turn. I took them out and then from there I was able to bring out two Blue Eyes and Obelisk and just kind of run away with it. So, you know, it feels good to overpower someone with this generally in a better deck and you just have fun with it. So that is my review. There is a little bit of flexibility. Last thing I should add was some people play like uh, spells and traps that have a little more protection on there. So there's a, a level of trade-off, but I think that if you make the deck any larger, you're going to get away from the core if like, you're adding Book of Moons or that type of stuff. So it is hard to add a lot more um, protection without taking away from the core and the, the effectiveness with the synergy of these cards. So let me know what you think. I'm hoping this deck gets a, a bit of a boost with uh, more support very soon because I think it'll come back to top tier if it should i know there's more cards you know around the archetype in the tcg so it's not like that couldn't happen um but yeah let me know what you think is this a deck you've played before have a deck you've played against and, and have any thoughts there so i uh, appreciate you watching